is Kat, and welcome to Weekly Belly Dance Tips with me, Kat. In this show, we go over essential belly dance movements to help your at-home practice. Today, we're going to focus on something called a hip lift. I consider this a foundational movement. This is something that will feed into your other belly dance moves later on, but today, let's just focus on that hip lift. You can follow us online at www.tacomabellydance.com, Belly Dance Classes in Tacoma on Facebook, or Cat Belly Dance on Instagram. Let's start on your right side. So what we're going to do is take that oblique and we're gonna do something similar to a side crunch. So we're pulling that oblique up, lifting and releasing back. Lifting and release. This lift is not coming from the weight of my foot, meaning I'm not pushing on the foot to lift it. This is simply a pull. I like to imagine that I have overalls on and I'm pulling up that overall just on that right side. Let's try the left side again, coming center into our weight, weight forward, pulling up, lift and, lift and. You will feel a little bit of the crunch in your lower back as well as again your lower core. Your goal is to pull that hip up as far as you feel capable of doing. Let's try those alternating. Up right, up left, up right, up left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Now you'll notice in the mirror behind me that my knees are moving. Again, your body happens to be attached by this amazing thing called a spine. So when one part moves, some other parts might move as well. This is not completely isolated to the lower hip. It definitely does travel to the legs just a tad. Don't worry if they're moving, that's normal, yeah? We're gonna take this lift and move it to the side ever so slightly, taking our left foot out to the side. I'm just pointing my toe and we're going to lift and place. Trying that other side, pointing the toe out, Lift and place, lift and place, lift and place, lift and place. Remember, don't put any weight on that outside foot coming out. That's not where we're getting that pull from. It's from that internal lower back, lower core area. We're all about those obliques, baby. Let's try it a little faster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Excellent. This is something I want you to try at home. See if you can walk with it forward and back. And of course, something that you can really focus on to engage that lower core and that lower back to make it so much stronger. Don't get lazy. This move will come back to haunt you and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.